Do you want to be my soulmate? Huh? Soulmate? She's my manager and a year older than me. But outside of work, I have nothing to do with her. So what's she talking about? What do you mean? Let's get married, you and me! What? I have a fiancé? What are you talking about? Just as it sounds. A girl that's too beautiful for you. Beautiful or not, I haven't even met her! You shouldn't be making the decision! Why not? You're 29 years old and you have no one. <laughs> Boo-hoo. Your sarcasm hurts. My name is Kengo Kumano, and just like my dad says, I haven't had any luck with women. In college, I did have a girlfriend, but we only dated for a month. And nothing happened. I'm glad he's thinking about me getting married. <laughs> but I want to marry someone I like. I don't know what she's like, so I've got to say no. She probably wouldn't like me anyway. What a pain. <sighs> <sighs> Jinx. <laughs> you too? Yeah. This attractive girl is Mina Edajima. She's a year older than me. She gets glances from everyone in the office. Guys and girls. You could say she's the lily of the office. Edajima, are you okay? You don't sigh often. She always works hard and is always smiling, whether to her boss or other colleagues. That's why she's the office lily. I always try to keep from sighing, but this time I can't keep it back. <sighs> Did something happen? I want to vent to someone. Will you listen to me at lunch? Sure, if you want. What? Marriage? Yeah, that's right. All the time. It makes my head ache. See, it's bothering me so much it makes me talk funny. I never thought Eda Jima would worry about anything so much. Her parents, grandparents, aunts. They're all pushing her to get married! Every day they call her and send pictures of possible partners, and now they think they've found someone perfect for her, so she should marry him! Not being married at 30 isn't unusual these days. Their thinking is so old! So we both have problems. Both of us? Well, to tell you the truth... You had a fiancé arranged for you without knowing it? Oh, that's too bad, Kumano. This may be good for both of us! What do you mean? Do you want to be my soulmate? Huh? Soulmate? What do you mean? Let's get married, you and me! What? Nah, that probably won't work. I bet your dad would feel better if you told him you were dating me. That may be so, but I don't think the two of us getting married would work out. Really? <laughs> I think being a pretend couple would be like a manga dub. I, I was getting excited. What? Pretend? Yeah, the two of us don't want to get married, so we work together to avoid it. Ah, pretend? Well, that was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, I can do that. Great! So, let's go see my parents next Saturday. Will you do that? Huh? If I don't introduce you, nothing is going to change. I guess you're right, but I'm not sure if I can do it. Sure you can. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. I don't care what she says. I know I'm going to be nervous. Whenever I call a girl's house and her father answers the phone, I'm such a chicken that I just hang up, and that was a call about schoolwork. Then it was Saturday. Hi, this is my place. Thanks for inviting me. Her house is huge. Her dad must be rich. I brought the gift you told me to buy, so we've been seeing each other for about a year, right? Right, thanks. For anything we haven't worked out, just leave it to me. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's calling me in. Uh... Hello, sir. Mm, you. You're my daughter's boyfriend? Uh, yes. My name is Kengo Kumano. What? You're Kengo Kumano? Oh no, he's sizing me up! Dad, quit staring at him like that! Kumano, go ahead and sit down. Kumano? You call him by his last name? Ah! Uh, we still haven't told anybody at work that we are dating, so we use our last names all the time, so they won't find out. Ah, uh, I see. Nice one, Edajima. Her dad didn't ask much after that. At first I thought that he was strict, but once we started to talk, he was really nice. I was always worried because I didn't think she had a boyfriend, but now I feel much better. So now you can be at ease. Hmm. <laughs> but actually, my mother, Mina's grandmother, is in the hospital now. What? I hadn't heard. Is she okay? She's in for a checkup. She'll come home soon. 
but I want to show her you as a bride-to-be. That's what he was worried about. Sounds like a close family. So, when's the wedding? Uh... uh... You're going to show everyone yourself as a bride, right? Are you going to wear a kimono? Or wedding dress? Both would be nice. You don't have to worry about the costs. Honey! Bring that wedding magazine Zetchi that you were reading! Okay! You bought that?! <laughs> After that, her dad led the conversation. We gave in to the pressure and told him that we were getting married in a year. Uh, so from now on, I'm going to have to pretend to prepare for our wedding. <laughs> Kumano, thanks for helping. I was nervous, but it was fun. You have very nice parents. Thanks for saying that. They are a little overly protective at times, but I like them. For her to be able to say that about her parents is something special. I'd be embarrassed to say it. So, next, we go to your house. Ah, I forgot about my dad. Sure thing. Hey, Dad, are you free Sunday? I want to introduce my g g g g girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Her name is Mina Edajima. She's really nice. <laughs> okay. I'm already planning the wedding ceremony. What?! You're not very good with those things. I'll discuss it with the agent and get a great place to hold the wedding. So don't worry about it. I don't want you to do that! I'll take the lead! I've been reading that wedding magazine, Zekchi. So leave it up to me. My dad is reading that magazine too?! <laughs> so my dad is running wild with this. So they have a fiancé set up for you, but shouldn't you meet her first? You would think so. But they said it's not necessary. Well, what if I stopped it? What do you mean? What if I went to your house and told them to let you marry me? That way, you wouldn't need to marry the other person. I see. No, wait, we can't do that! If we did, our wedding story may become reality! Yeah, it may. Lunch is over. Let's talk about it more another time. Good luck with work this afternoon. Okay, you too. What if I went to your house and asked them to let me marry you? I actually think that it was a good idea. I've always thought she was great, but that was as a manager that I could trust. Now that we've started to interact more in private, I've started to think of her as a girl. Going through the experience of being her pretend boyfriend was like a dream. <sighs> I had an unfruitful love affair. And I still had one other thing to worry about. We're going to have the engagement ceremony next Saturday. Next Saturday? Why? Because it's a lucky day. Not that! Why did you plan this on your own? If I didn't, nothing would get done. I'm going to have to get dressed up. Oh my god, he's not listening! I'm going to have to ask Aida for help, but I'm not sure if I should get her more involved. Ah, what should I do? Kumano? Kumano, can you please present your report for last week? Ah! I didn't realize the meeting had started. I'm sorry. I don't have last week's report. <sighs> Kumano, what's wrong with you today? If I keep this to myself, it's going to impact my work. I should tell her. And that's what happened. See, I should help. No, I'll handle it myself. I'll do something. I shouldn't involve you in the engagement ceremony. Besides, if she helps me anymore, I may go too far with her. Besides what? Ah, uh, it's nothing. I'm sorry I wasn't prepared for the meeting. It won't happen again. Kumano. In the end, I couldn't do anything to cancel the ceremony, and before I knew it, it was Saturday. I'll just have to tell her that I won't be able to marry her. It doesn't matter how wonderful she is. Edajima is the only girl I like. Hello. It looks like they aren't here yet. Well, that's disappointing. Hey! Don't start the ceremony! Huh? That voice. Uh, are you coming out, Dad? Nice to meet you! Please let me marry your son! Edajima? I'm sorry. I know it's selfish, but I couldn't stand to think of you marrying someone other than me. Kumano, I love you. I want to be the one you marry. Edajima, really? Or are you just pretending? Uh, if I was pretending, I wouldn't be dressed like this. My dad's been following me around all morning. I just got away from him. Oh my god. Edajima likes me! Hey, Mina! Dad, you followed me all the way here? No, I didn't follow you. Did you know the ceremony was here? We could have come together. Edajima, it's been a while. I was surprised. Your daughter is pretty aggressive. So is your son. The other day, he wouldn't stop talking. What? Wait.
Wait a minute. You two know each other? What are you talking about? Here, have a seat. This is your introduction ceremony. Huh? What? What? Well, uh, I didn't think it would turn out like this. You said it before. Like a voice comic. I guess it turned out like a voice comic. My fiancé was Mina, and the nice guy that her father had mentioned was me. Since we didn't know, we were struggling over nothing. So I didn't get to answer your question. Can you answer now? Okay. I love you too. Let's build a happy family together. I will become a husband that your father and your grandmother will be proud of. I promise. I promise too. One year later, we had our wedding, which both our parents put all their effort into. But just imagine how I felt coming down in a gondola.